Episode 7, 407, I Can't Fix This. Air date 23rd, no, September 13, I apologize. Air date September 13, 2024, written by Jermond, yeah, Jermond Thompson, directed by Ruben Garcia. When tragedy strikes, Tariq and the Tejadas are set on a mission to avenge what they lost. Drew must take out a threat to Carter's organization in order to protect his family. When tragedy strikes, Tariq and the Tejadas are set on a mission to avenge what they lost. Hmm. So the only thing I can I can take from Pauls, the only thing I can comprehend from when tragedy strikes, Tariq and the Tejadas are set on a mission to avenge what they lost. They product got stolen. Maybe. Oh. Could could Monet and Drew be supplying Tariq and Braden after the Noma hiccup with Zion? Because I'm trying to figure why would Tariq and the Tejadas be set on a mission to avenge what they lost when Tariq was going through Zion? Monet. Oh, well, the Tejadas probably. All right, I got it. I got it. Drew and Drew and Monet. The product they had, it's only two of them. They probably didn't have any way to move it, so they probably hooked up with Tariq and Brayden. After that, they probably gave money to Tariq and Brayden to re-up with Zion. And now that no one knows that Tariq and Brayden got some shit going on, they're probably seeking revenge because they find out that Monet and Drew, which started this damn civil war, they they stole the product. So no one had found out, but now they didn't click up with Tariq and Braden because they need a way to move their product. It's just Monet and Drew. Neither one of them have street connects. So now no one probably got her henchmen out looking for these niggas. Yeah, that's, a, that's the only thing I can think of. Tariq and the Tejadas got to link up because they can't move their product. Noma and Zion, they're beefing right now. So either, either Monet and Drew link up with Tariq because they only they stole that product from Noma. They don't have more product coming in. So they help with, with what they're getting from Zion. They help put up some bread. And now Noma's trying to get at Monet and them. But they, but they can't fix this situation because we too fucked up in the game. Maybe Zion's not trusting them. Because think about it, Zion told them, well, when he talked to Braden, if it is about trust, if it isn't trust, why do I slay this rock? Why do I believe in y'all? If they can't fix it, maybe Zion cuts off Tariq and Braden for the simple fact y'all came around. Now Noma and Kane showed up. They whooped my ass. Now nah, Isaiah, he put that life behind him. He put that life behind him. Hmm. Tragedy strikes. Tariq and the Tejada set on a mission to avenge what they lost. So it's not anyone that died. It's just Tariq and the Tejadas are set on a mission to avenge what they lost. Ah. See, I think they're going to have to link up. And the, the crazy thing is we got a fucking month and a half to go through all these different wild ass theories. I know people are gonna be sending me stuff. Mo, you was wrong. You don't know what you talk about. I'm like, man, I'm just I'm just giving predictions and theories also, guys. Come on.
maybe losing Diana. Um, they lose the baby. Well, I mean, it does say Tariq and the Tejadas set on a mission to avenge what they lost. I don't know if I should say what I want to say, but we in the power universe. It isn't real life, but if it if it is, if let's just let's just hypothetically say, let's just say it is the baby, not Diane. Let's just say it is the baby. If it's the baby and I'm Tariq. This is going to sound bad, but I got to say it, man. We got to keep it real. If I'm Tariq and it is the, the, the fetus, it isn't a baby yet. It isn't a baby yet. Nigga, I'm not avenging a motherfucking thing. <laughs> I'm not. Woo. Got rid of that nigga Salim. Got rid of that problem. Woo. Woo. Because I'd be damned if I named my son Lorenzo. Woo. Dear Trap Lord, let me tell you. I'm a wear rubber every single time. Woo. I know you wouldn't put any test on me that I could not overcome. I apologize for going against you. That is my problem, sir. Woo. Please forgive me for I have sinned. I'm not going to avenge shit. Tariq. The baby's gone. Monet showing up. Yeah, Tariq, the baby's gone. We got to go get these niggas. We got to go get who? Give me a second real quick. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, what you doing? Now nah, I got some good news. No, 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 no. I got some of that boogie sugar for you. Don't, girl, don't play me. You know who I am. But nah, I'm single now. No, no, no. Remember that little scare I told you I had? Well, it's taken care of. No, no, no. It's just me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't attached to nobody. You know I was just playing the game because her mama pulled that damn gun on me. She knew. She knew if I would have had the drop on it, she wouldn't have pulled that shit. But you, it's me. The same way I talked to your mama, I was talking to her mama like that. They just told me that they want to go avenge the niggas that made Diana lose the baby. I mean, let me tell you something. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. Huh? Not Monet. I'm I'm trying to set. I'm talking to Zion. I'm trying to. Monet, get the. Hey, Monet. I'm on the phone. No, no. You going to be in the dorm later? Or your mama got you locked up? No, no, no. Hey, I'm going to meet you at the dorm. What is it? 1030. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'd be probably about, probably about 11, 11, say 11.30 because I ain't got no whip right now. Unless I can see a brain to pick me up. Oh, shit, you got your mama's Escalade? No, oh, bad, 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 bad. Well, I'm about to leave from over here because they crying and shit. Yeah, I don't know what they crying. I'm over here faking it like, hold on, hold on. Oh, the baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, come pick me up. We can be over there in about 15 minutes. All right, baby. No, 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 no. Hey, shut, shut up, girl. Nah, I miss you too. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm not avenging nothing. If this is over Diana, I'm not avenging nothing. I'm, what? No, the baby does. I gotta go, but oh, I really want. I really wanted this family. <laughs> Why? You go over. You gotta hug Diana. When you go over to hug Diana, you gotta do this. You gotta pull one of these stunts on her. <laughs> <laughs> the baby. <laughs> oh, 
I really wanted this, Diana. <laughs> I gotta go get the pack, though. I'll be back, Monet. I'm about to go to Zion. I'll be back. I gotta be back. Little baby, no. The baby. Oh, shit, what's up, Anya? What's going on, girl? Yeah, you good? Yeah, I, come on, girl. I told you I had a little bit of that. I had a little bit of that for you. Yeah, let's get up out of here, baby. Let's get up out of here, baby. Let's get up. <laughs> hey, the title is called, uh, I Can't Fix This. <laughs> Fix this, so I'm gonna leave. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hey, I'm hopping in the whip. Hey, play my play my song. <laughs> Hey, tell me, <laughs> hey, I'm in the. <laughs> Hold on, turn the music down, huh? Yeah, what's up, Tariq? I'm just, I'm so sorry. I know, I mean, too, man. I'm just stressed out. I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the train right now, but I got to get back to, to get this pack, and I'm meet up with Brandon. I mean, Braden, my man. I just. Oh. I'm losing it right now. I wish I could talk to my mama. <laughs> I miss you, Diana. I want to see you tomorrow. I, I promise I'm going to make things better. I promise. I promise I'm going to make things better. <laughs> Let me go. We about to go. We about to go through the tunnel. It is, I'm probably going to lose. <laughs> Can you hear me? I'll, I'll call you. <laughs> ben, turn the music back up. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, all right, man. Let's get let's get back to the <laughs> when tragedy strikes, Tariq and the Tejadas are set on a mission to avenge what they lost. Shit, fuck that. Oh. <laughs> Monet talking about, we got to go get these niggas. That was my grandbaby. <laughs> it's a little hot in here. I don't know. I don't know if we can go. Hey, I got to go back to school. Y'all forgot I'm in road. Look, I got to look. I got to go back to school because if I don't finish the degree, I don't know if y'all heard or not, but I can't get my inheritance. <laughs> all right, man. All right. All right. I'm going to get I'm going to be for real, man. Jeez Louise. Oh, my God. <laughs> right before you walk out the house. <laughs> <laughs> right right before you leave the house hold the baby i gotta go y'all <laughs> oh oh jeez <laughs> Oh my goodness, that shouldn't be so funny, bro. Oh my god. No, my bad, man. My bad, though. I got I got I got carried away. But now you guys see why I can't make clickbait videos, man, because I just start thinking of the wildest shit. And I, I can do whole videos like where I just make up a whole story of what they could do, what they should do, but Oh my god. 
<laughs> Drew calling Tariq. Tariq, have you have you seen Monet and Dinah? Hell no. Nah. Last time I seen them, they was into it with some nigga. So I was headed over there in a minute. I'll meet you there. Now you showing back up. You got Anya parked around the corner and you jog up there so you out of breath. So when Drew go in the house and he see them dead, you can get there like, what the fuck happened, Drew? What did you do? And Drew be like, I didn't do it. So now it don't look like Tariq did it. It's like, Drew, what the fuck, man? What did you do? Oh, man. Oh, my head is hurting. My bad, y'all. My bad. Oh, my. Oh, the back of my head is hurting. That was some funny shit. All right, man. Episode seven. I can't fix this when tragedy strikes. <laughs> Tariq and the Tahatas are set on a mission to avenge what they lost. We don't know what they lost. We assume that is Diana. But uh, Drew must take out a threat to Carter's organization in order to protect his family. Now, this is why I made the video saying it's probably going to be Kamal. I think I think the threat to the organization is probably going to be come on. I mean, that's really all I have as far as Drew and Carter. Um, oh my God. Jeez Louise. All right, man. Come on, come on, come on. All right, what, 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 do, you, what do we think about Drew must take out this threat? Who do we think this threat is? Dying? I mean, not dying, but uh, Kamal? Oh, man. Kamal is the biggest threat. Okay, so everybody's saying the same. All right, I mean that that that's pretty much episode seven. I mean, because it, it really was tragedy strikes, Tariq and the Tejadas, and then Drew with the threat. So some of these they they they're just real straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? They don't give us too much to go off of. I mean, that's cool though, because I'm I'm pretty sure they'll give us more detail once the episodes air. But it's kind of give us in a, a a direction of where the story is going. So we got Drew about to be on this maniac mission. Carter's probably all in his face. Hey, nigga, you hey that thirty five percent. It was one hundred and twenty five thousand earlier. Now y'all bring it back. I'm only getting thirty five thousand. Y'all niggas need to pick it up in these streets. Matter of fact, there is a threat. There's someone snooping around. Kamal Tate. We need you to get his ass up out of here. Matter of fact, no, we don't need you to get his ass. We need you to knock him because when you hear "get ass," you think something else. True. We need you to go get rid of him. All right. We can't say go get his ass to Drew because Drew. And get his ass whooped. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. That's episode seven description. I can't fix this. And we all think that is uh, probably try to take out Kamal. Mm. Kamal is a threat. He's adding up. Uh, he's good at adding things up. Definitely. Kamal, I mean, he was always the one. Even when, remember when Rashad came and stayed at his house? He was like, man, you got to get up, get a job and shit. He was always the one that was like doing things by the book. Yeah, he, he had a little blunder when it came to Lauren. But really, it wasn't because Lauren was over 18. So Lauren was old enough to consent to wearing that watch. So he really didn't do anything wrong. All right. Kendall said I should have took up acting. Nah, man, I, I'm not like I can, you know, I can ad lib. I can I can do shit off the top of the dome. I'm not good at reading a script and like remembering a script. All my stuff got I just got to make it up as I go. That's why I was good with speeches because I always look at speeches like this. 
I've never been as afraid of public speaking because the public doesn't know what you're speaking about. They can only go off of what you talk about. Now, if I was to tell you guys, the OG Power Series was based off of a guy by the name of Jamie St. Patrick. Jamie St. Patrick owned the ice cream parlor. Now, this ice cream parlor started off by just selling ice cream cones when he was 15, 16, and then he ran into the love of his life. Tasha and they got together. She was an accountant. She started doing his book and they upscaled and then he turned into Ben and Jerry's. I could tell you a story like that and you guys would just have to believe it if you never seen OG power. So you'd be like, damn, that's crazy. And then I could throw in like they started moving drugs through the ice cream parlor. So I could send you down whatever path I want to send you down, but that's off the top of the dome. Now, if I had to remember what to say, then I'm all fucked up. But as long as you're confident in how you're speaking, no one cares if you're right or wrong. They just like, damn, that sounds interesting. That's why a lot of people get scammed because it sounds good, but it really ain't making no sense. So that's when you got to start to decipher between the bullshit. And I tell you guys, I bullshit 90% of the time, 10% of the time, I'm keeping it real with you, but I'm always one thou out. Meaning you're going to know when I'm bullshitting. You're going to know when I'm telling the truth. You know what I mean? Yep. There you go, Eric. Mr. Ice Cream Man. All right. All right. Uh, if they unallow Kamal, then they have to deal with Rashad. Man, we don't even know what Rashad is. They After they canceled uh, Book 5, Book 5 Influence, man, Rashad said, I ain't got nothing to do with this. No. You know, speaking of Rashad, Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I like to see a Rashad Tate origin story. That's what we need. We need James and Tommy, of course. That's one. We need the Monet origin story, and we need the Rashad Tate origin story. I want to see how he was prior to becoming a cop and while he was a cop. That's what I want to see. Forget the influence. I'm not really trying to see no political shit. I want to see how Rashad Tate got to where he was. What would you guys rather see? Pre-Rashad 